So unfortunately, I have to do a voiceover on this one because there uh, was a sound issue with uh, the previous original recording. Very irritating and I'm sorry about it, but uh, there's not much that I can do now besides go back to the supplier and try and work out uh, what went wrong. As you can see here, I'm busy walking around showing you how close we were onto the coast. A uh, really amazing coastline. Because of the region that we're in, there's always a slight breeze, so it was a little bit chilly and uh, right after this I went to have a bit of a shower. So I just wanted to give you an overview of uh, what the campsite looked like with the guys uh, sitting up their little corners of the world and getting ready for uh, the evening before we're heading out the next morning. So the next morning was a bit of a chilled head out. I didn't realize there was a lady showering in the blue curtains over there. So I quickly had to retract <laughs> and go around the corner while everyone there is laughing at me. Um, but so be it, it was very cool. Um, I just wanted to introduce you to, this is uh, Johan Krik, who's the organizer. Thank you very much, Johan, you've done an amazing job. Um, Thank you, my pleasure. We've uh, really enjoyed it. Let me stand this side so I can get the lights. Yeah. And um, yeah, Johan's done a, a superb job in, in organizing this whole thing and uh, putting it together. The guys have really taken to it. It's been quite, uh, quite enjoyable. Um, nice and slow and easy, obviously. We don't want to really, uh, oh, so really no we'll learn event, as we said, you know? Exactly, we don't want to overstress ourselves, <laughs> which is <laughs> a good really point. Yeah. No. So I'm just going to have a walk around quickly and show everyone all, right. all the campsites and uh, the different areas of what's going on. So starting off here, this is where Johan had set up his uh, little tent. Uh, very nice and simple, basic, uh, right on the coastline. So I'm sure he would have got a bit of wind. But the way that we parked all of our defenders made a, a big difference in the um, in between the light and the wind. So we everyone wanted some good views, but you know when you're hiding from the wind, it's a bit of a challenge. So um, my tent, we've just gone past. I had folded it up because we were going to start the fire. That big dome tent is uh, Ivan, who's, uh, who was the bit of security and uh, medic. Um, and then going around to the other little sites, there were six of these little um, stone brick off walls. And uh, it was very nice that the guys had all come together and there were like these little packs where the guys had started uh, having a few of the drinks and started the fires and the teas and the coffees. And um, they were obviously having six of these little corners. Um, the guys had spread out quite all the way through, so it was quite nice. This is Peter, one of the photographers on the on the trip. Um, an old campaigner, really knows what he's doing. An amazing photographer, really nice chap. Um, he had just thrown together a bit of a, a tan vibe there, which seemed to work quite well for him. A quick and easy setup. Um, he was quite used to it and uh, he was having a long day started making a tea and a coffee to get going and here are the guys playing around trying to start the vehicle this is um uh, who was it it was nick's vehicle they were taking the straps and trying to start the vehicle um from the straps so it was quite an interesting exercise this is Wes over here um he came with um uh, honor from uh, um, pont stain um, very interesting little challenge that they had going on there. Uh, you can see the bricks around the tire so that the vehicle didn't drop down from the um, um, from the plate. Uh, here the fire is going already. Uh, these guys were were quite well set up. Um, uh, Samantha and Justin uh, subsequently in the end won the challenge and well done to them. Uh, lovely couple. Uh, they live in the Eastern Cape and a great farm. I'll send a link below. Uh, not really a farm, a reserve, private reserve at that. Um, here's some more of the guys that were just uh, trying to set up to get out the wind. Um, again, there's the teas and coffees going. It was a little bit chilly if you're standing without a shirt on because the breeze from the offshore is quite fresh. So you don't want to get uh, caught with that, uh, with that breeze and, and then you just become uncomfortable. So everyone started to get going uh, to get warm and then uh, yeah, some of the beer started flowing. Here's the pond stand, guys. Um, somebody hiding around the corner having a drink. Um, the pond stand guys did uh, quite well as well, I think, and uh, it was very nice to see them uh, active in this uh, in this uh, trip too. So 
one of the best reasons about driving uh, on stuff like this is uh, no hands. You just allow the road. To drive without needing a steering wheel. Yeah, whoa. Whoa. Awesome. You, uh, you need your coffee, you're not going to change it anyway. You can just let it go. And, uh, Enjoy it. No hands, Bob. <laughs> So, back to, uh, oh, it's a bit shaky here. But back to uh, self-drive, self-drive safari. I love it. It should always be like this. Put my hands, probably not there. I'll just put my hands over here, I guess. Or I should put them over there. Or should I just lean it over here? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Self-drive safari. So we've just uh, come to the Namakwa people uh, had a cave uh, that we're just coming up to have a look at. So all the defenders have uh, come in and parked and uh, we're going to be having a bit of a squiz inside here to uh, just check it out. And uh, basically it's a huge cave that, um, that has uh, obviously been carved out from the many years and uh, the view from the cave is totally amazing uh, obviously it looks out over the, all the wetlands and uh, you can see uh, can't really see three here unfortunately but uh, yeah it's quite cool but what's really amazing is if you have a look at the view um, of what they would what they would see when they were sleeping in here um, we're in a big ravine uh, that the river would come down during uh, uh, during the rainy season, um, so yeah, let's go and have a look at some of this other stuff that's going on in here. Let's see what we can see. Yeah. That's amazing, huge, uh, huge opening. Really big. Let's see if I can get a proper photo through here. Not so sure. Let's see. As you can see it, there's the ground and then it just comes huge lip over. It's quite cool. And then here's the view through this opening over there. Yeah. So the guys are people are taking photos and checking it out. There's everyone looking through. Thank you. 